set this up to test just like if I were camping. I've got the solar panels out on the deck, I've got the battery pack, it is charging, and I've got the refrigerator plugged in. Now, if I look at my temperature sensor, oh, it shows the fridge at 34, where inside it was always 33. But it is, it is extremely sunny out, and uh, it's windy too, so I'm chasing the panels down as they get blown off the deck. But I'll take you out, try to show you what, uh, what's going on with the system, and show you what the power levels are at. Last time I checked, the compressor was on, and I was at 99% battery power in the battery pack, which I recharged up to 100%. Oh, it is windy. You can hear all those wind chimes. So let's see what I got down here. I'll show you my setup. Just got the solar panels out. And the fridge here, the fridge says 38. It's currently cooling. I've got it still on eco and low. And then if I come over here and I look at the battery pack, it shows, but it's kind of hard to see here. Hope I can get an angle right that looks decent. But it's uh, 65 watts in right now, 43 watts out. The pack is still at 99%. It's been out here for about uh, maybe 45 minutes. So I'm gonna set this back up. I'm actually using this to help hold the solar panel down so it doesn't blow away. All right, so like I said, this is more of a uh, real world camping test. Ooh, it's hot out there. That's the other thing, it's really hot out. The, uh, the outside temperature is 86 degrees, so the cooler is just sitting out there in the sun. Uh, and that's, like I said, another thing I'm going to have to deal with when out camping. So I'm going to let this run for a couple hours. It's 3 o'clock right now, 3.15. I'm going to wait till about 5 o'clock, and I will see where that's at. Normally, that's going to be two hours. I would expect to see a pretty good dent in the battery, maybe dropping it down 6 or 7%. But uh, so far, it's been out there 30 minutes, and it hasn't budged. It's sitting at 99, which is good, which is what I want to see. So... We'll see how this goes. Well, this is not a fun test. It's, it's windy enough that my panels are just sliding all over the deck. So I'm constantly going out there. I'm putting things under it to try to secure them and it's kind of working and kind of not. What I should do is take them down and put them in the grass. But if I put them in the grass, then the dog's gonna think it's something that it needs to go to the bathroom on it. We don't want that happening on any of that technology. So I do want to mention one thing uh, with the application here, and I'll put something on the screen for it. The application also shows you the voltage that the refrigerator is sensing, and then it gives you kind of a crude picture of a battery and says what the battery percentage is. Now, I'm pretty sure that's based on like an automotive battery, but uh, it at least is something, right? So I can sit here, I'm inside the house where it's a little bit cooler. Um, it's not the, uh, the 90 degrees, 90 degrees out where I've got everything set up and testing, but I'm gonna go ahead and tear everything down. I'm gonna tell you, I have had this thing running for two and a half hours just in the backyard. It's a pretty sunny day. I, you know, we'll go out there, it's a little windy um, and everybody's got their air conditioner running, but we'll, uh, we'll see here. So you can see what the sky looks like, right? It's, it's what we would call partly cloudy today. It's still hot, it's still hot out. And if I get down here to the fridge, I brought out the little temperature sensor here so we could see the, the indoor temp, which is the temp of this device here, actually says 100 degrees out in the sun. And the, in, the outdoor temperature, which is the sensor for this, which is in the fridge, is showing 35 degrees, which is absolutely perfect. Um, right now, this thing is, it's nice and cool on the inside. It's, it's crazy absolutely crazy how well this thing is working i'm very impressed with it this is this is more of a real world test right this is going to be me out camping and uh and i'll have the solar panels up and i'll have the rock pals working so what i've got is i've got two of the rock pals 60 watt panels and i've got them chained together and they're both plugged into my rock pals 300 and if we look at this right now i don't know if you're going to be able to see this very well we'll see what i can do it's showing right now with this sun, we're getting 34 watts in. And right now the output is sitting at 10 watts. So it's obviously drawing something, maybe something a little extra 
for the fridge, but the, uh, the battery percentage is at 99%. When I plugged this thing in two and a half hours ago, it was at 100. I've been checking it off and on, and it's cycling between 99 and 100. I actually came out once, it was sitting at 100%, the compressor was running, and it stopped bringing in any solar charge. It turned off the input because it just didn't need it. So it kicks on and off when it, when it needs it. Let's see if I can get a, a decent view here. I'm hoping you guys can see this. It's actually, uh, it's actually very impressive. I'm very impressed with this. Um, I'm gonna keep testing this out. I can't wait to get this thing out camping because I am very, very impressed with the test out here in the sun with the solar panels up. I was a little skeptical when I got about 20 hours of runtime inside in a controlled environment. I knew it was gonna be a little bit tougher, but the solar panels are doing a great job keeping this thing going keeping the fridge and everything cool in it. This is gonna be a, a great addition to my car camping equipment. Thanks everybody for watching this. If you like this type of content, remember to click that like button. If you have any comments about anything that I'm using here, or anything from my testing, please leave it in the comments below. And remember to subscribe to my channel because I will be continuing to use this throughout the summer. So I will have several videos when I'm out camping and uh, talk to you about how well this unit's working or if it all of a sudden fails, who knows. Uh, but so far, I'm I'm giving this a thumbs up. I think it's a I think it's a great product. Thanks everybody for watching.